I started up my channel two years ago, and over this period of time I have developed new levels of quality and efficiency that is enough to sustain any YouTube channel, be it large or small. In this video, I hope to show you guys the process in which I used to create my videos every single day. I'm going to be covering everything in a chronological order. All software I will be using will be linked in the description, along with all codecs, settings, and finally equipment, and this includes my PC. So let's start the video from the first step, the idea. At any point in the day, be it when I'm taking a big old shit or when I'm just laying in bed, I might get an idea. Now I have a shit memory, so I tend to just swipe to the left of my phone and then tap in my idea into the memo so then I can later refer to it when thinking about what I should make next. I'll then hop onto my PC, open up notepad and type up the script for the video, of which is currently being filmed. And edited. After I've finished the script, I'll load up Audacity or Adobe Audition, I recommend Audacity for its easier UI though, and then I'll hit that record button and voice out the script. After the recording is complete, I'll add some EQ modifications to it so the mic sounds that little bit more sexy. Finally, I'll then export that to the desktop. And this is where the real fun begins. The next steps take place in a different order depending on the video, but I'll take my top 5 shortcomings of PC gaming as a baseline example. If you watch this video, it starts off with the cinematic. This is the formula for almost all of my videos on the channel, unless it doesn't really fit the style of the video. So, I'll whip out my Canon 700D and start shooting relevant cinematics with my tripod and my camera slider. I will also hop into a game and record some gameplay footage with DX Story, which I'll use in the background whilst I'm talking when I can't fill it up with relevant video. Like now. Although I suppose this kind of makes the footage relevant now, eh? Yeah, well, moving on. Loading up Adobe. Adobe? Oh fucking hell, you stupid. Loading up Adobe Premiere Pro, I import all of the footage onto a 1440p 60fps sequence, and so begins the trials of editing. For those who are looking to this tutorial in hopes of getting an incentive on how to create YouTube videos, I wouldn't recommend directly copying a style off of one YouTuber. Watch loads of videos, try out different editing styles and different types of content around it. See what interests you the most and then keep developing the style until you've either had enough with YouTube or want to try something new. Which there's nothing wrong with. Borrowing assets from different YouTubers is a great way to make something good great. The quality of editing increases as time goes on. The more you edit, the more time you'll want to spend on your videos as you crave to get better and better at what you're doing. At this stage, it's a great idea to invest in some extra equipment like new PC hardware for reduced render times, but that's a different video. How would you guys like to win a free game of your choice? Last video I received a bombardment of fantastic uses of the word flamboyant. Many jokes were made that day indeed. But for today's indicating word, I want you guys to put all of your effort in. Try your hardest to think of a funny or peculiar sentence to use the indicating word exanguination in. If you're new to the channel and don't know what I'm talking about, this is the trite benefit system. Basically, you guys comment down below the indicating word in a funny sentence. Let me know your thoughts on the video, subscribe and like the video, and then I'll enter you right down into a giveaway to win a free game of your choosing. You can get more entries by sharing my videos, giving feedback and sticking with the channel. The more you do these things, the higher the chance you have of winning, because if you don't win this time, then all of your previous entries carry across to the next giveaway which shortly follows. Good luck to the winner and let's continue the video. The editing stages of my videos can take anywhere from 2 to 40 hours to make. I know that's a fairly large gap, but so many things can influence the amount of time required for a video. Gaming videos take the longest to edit, at about 30 hours average, but unfortunately these don't see many views. Reviews are close behind at about 15 to 20 hours depending on how much footage is needed. Then finally tutorials and commentaries follow behind, coming in at about 6 hours average. These are the easiest to make, the quickest to make and also the ones that get viewed the most, although these are also my least favourite to make because I don't really get to show off my editing, unless I make a really big tutorial covering a big subject like my global FPS tutorial I made a few months back. After editing, I export it as a H.264 1440p 60fps file, uh, and if you want to know my other settings, they'll be down in the description as previously stated. So, at this point it's likely about 4am, I can feel the energy seeping from my aching muscles. But I soldier on to push the file into YouTube's uploader as quickly as possible. Now, at this point I'm tired AF, so I'll either make the thumbnail while it's uploading, or go and hit the hay, leaving it on overnight, to upload. In that case, I'll wake up early, go to my PC and do the thumbnail then, along with the title and description. After that, I'll publish it and take a day's break so I don't overstress myself as I also have college work and a job to do on top of all of this. 
If I'm on top of my upload schedule, like I have been lately, then I'll schedule videos for release so I can work on one, with the comfort knowing that I have one uploaded already. At some point in your YouTube life, you'll hit this brick wall mentally. The brick wall is when you feel like you have absolutely no energy whatsoever to upload, record, to make videos. This can go on for weeks, even months, if not addressed appropriately. There are plenty of things you can do when this happens. It'll likely be caused by something going on in your life or in your head, so before you start trying to fix your YouTube, try and fix those things first. Make a video about how you haven't been uploading because of your lack of motivation. Say sorry, but at some point you'll make videos again. This means you won't get stressed over there not being any videos to upload. Then try a different lifestyle. Eat healthy, do some exercise, go out with your friends and enjoy life a bit. Then come back to your channel and make a video in your own time. After that, you'll find the motivation you were previously lacking, and then you can continue making videos. So that's the process of producing my YouTube videos. If you found this insightful or helpful in any way, then please do show your appreciation by tapping the like button. I love your face and I will see you guys in the next one. Terra.